Hey everybody, this is How Do I Change an Actor's Attributes. Um, YouTube only gives you a few minutes, uh, about 10 minutes to make a video, so I'm going to try to cram all this in as quick as I can. So, I'm going to click on my scene here. I've created a floor and a ball, and we're going to click on the floor. Now, at the top you'll see the name um, under Attributes, Name, Floor, and that's just basically what you called your actor. Um, you can change that within the Actors menu time. Uh, time, a lot of people don't know what this is, but time basically starts counting from the second the actor um, is spawned onto the scene. Um, and so you can call on that time at any at any uh, spot and say, uh, when time equals 30, uh, destroy, or something. And um, instead of having to create a counter and telling it to count, um, you could just use the time within the actor. Uh, position. Position X and Y. That's default to zero because obviously that actor isn't on the scene. Uh, but if you go to the actor that I've placed onto the scene and double click it, you can see that the positions X and Y is 240 by uh, 14. And that's the exact center of my actor in relation to where it is on the scene. Um, and as you adjust that, uh, within the game, that'll adjust uh, in the actor uh, uh, attributes. Um, size, uh, width, and height is default 100 by 100. Uh, once you add an actor, or, sorry, an image to the actor, um, that will adjust uh, accordingly uh, to the size of the image you've added. Um, also, in the actor, sorry, in the um, the game uh, board, uh, if you scale that actor uh, up and down or, or whatever, again, that uh, information will change within uh, the attributes. And you can call on these uh, within uh, a rule also, so if something happens, change actor's width to 50, change actor's height to 50, and that will adjust the, the width and height for you. Rotation. Rotation is always set to zero, and you can adjust that uh, anything either manually or within the menu. So I can click on this and adjust it like this. Click on it, and you can see that it's adjusted it to 40 degrees. I'm going to bring that back down to zero. Bring it back. And you'll see that's adjusted it back down to zero. Color. Color is the uh, same as always. You just select the color you're looking for and it will change the color of the object. Now if you already have an image in there, you don't want to play with the colors because it will just put the color you selected on top of the image. Uh, and if you do that to correct it, just go and select uh, white um, and that will fix the image for you. Uh, image we don't use, it's not fixable. Tags you can't adjust either, but whatever tag your actor is in, the name would show up right here. So if you make a, a tag called enemies and put this actor in the enemies, um, it would now be tag enemies here. Under graphics, I'm not going to explain blending mode, horizontal wrap, or vertical wrap until a later tutorial. But right now, uh, the most important is visible. Until now, if you had an actor that wasn't visible on the scene, like a wall or a sensor, um, you actually had to create the actor and set the uh, alpha down to zero so that way you didn't see it but it was there and the problem with that is the game engine has to still draw that actor and process it uh, which takes your valuable resources so in the new uh, game cell 0.6 you can now uncheck visible and your actor, actor just disappears it's still uh, accessible so if you touch it if you have a rule uh, on touch do this it'll still work the only difference is you can't see it and you save resources so I'm going to go back in to that actor and uncheck uh, sorry uh, I'm going to check uh, visible and move on to motion Linear velocity, X and Y. Now, linear velocity is um, is handy. Uh, the X is uh, horizontal speed, and Y is vertical speed. So you could tell it if the horizontal speed um, is less than a certain amount to readjust it back to a certain amount. Um, and as as your actor is moving in the scene, this will keep adjusting to its X speed and its Y speed. 
Uh, angular velocity. Angular velocity is the speed of which the actor rotates. Uh, values greater than zero cause the actor to rotate counterclockwise. Negative values cause clockwise rotation. And max speed. A lot of people in the forum say my actor is falling and the more it falls, the faster it falls. And they want to fix that. Well, basically you just go into apply max speed and check, put a check in the checkbox and then set the speed you want it to be. So if you want it to never get faster than 300, uh, it'll never go faster than 300 with the apply max speed. I'm going to uncheck that and put that back down to zero. Under physics and density. Now this is how, um, this demonstrates how your objects interact with each other. Um, density is the heaviness of the actor. So uh, a higher value will make the object harder to move by less dense actors. A value of zero will make the object immovable uh, but still affect other actors in the scene. Uh, density can be set to any real positive number. Uh, friction is just below it and its default is set to 3. Now friction specifies how much the actor gets slowed down each time it comes into contact with another actor. Uh, zero is smooth. Larger numbers will make the actor slow down more quickly. Uh, friction can be set to any real positive number. Restitution. Now restitution is always set to zero and um, it basically uh, represents the bounciness of an actor. So zero has no bounce, um, one has more bounce, and two has a lot of bounce. And two is the maximum you can go with that. And I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this for you. Um, so we're going to go ahead on the floor, and I'm going to set its um, uh, restitution to zero. Oh, it already is zero. And then I'm going to go to the ball and set its restitution to zero, which it is, and press play. Oh, one second here. I gotta set the floor to not movable. So here we go. Oh. Should have had this all set up before I started, but just give me a second here. I'm gonna set the ball to movable. Press play. So you see the ball just drops, hits the floor, and stays where it is. Now let's go back into the ball and let's change the restitution to 1 and press play. Now you'll see it bounce. And a lot of people say, how do I get my, my object to stop bouncing when it hits each other? Well, that's basically how. You just press 0 on both the objects and the, the individual will not bounce. Now, if I set that to 2, which is the highest you can go, you'll see how high it bounces. And the, hard, the, um, the faster it comes down, the higher it will bounce. You'll see again, it just bounced really high. Um, I'm going to go back and set that to zero. Now, fixed rotation. If you have an object that when it hits something, it starts to turn, and you don't want it to turn when it hits something, just hit fixed rotation. Um, also, in when you use an accelerator uh, or a move, and... It's, it's going left and it hits something and it turns on you, it'll start accelerating in a different direction because um, fixed rotation is not on. So just hit the fixed rotation here and your object or your, your actor will stay uh, in its set rotation. Now movable, um, uncheck movable or not movable. Move, let's like say you have a, a wall and you don't want it moved, um, uncheck movable. Basically any single actor you have that does not move, you want to make sure you hit um, the checkbox um, so that way it's not movable. Um, otherwise your game engine is going to be looking for that actor to move even though it's never going to move. Um, so you definitely want to uncheck that if it's not a moving part. Um, collision. Now I have a ball here, so because I have collision rectangle, if it collides with something right in the corner here, even though there's nothing there, it's still going to collide. So something like that, you'd want to hit circle. So that way it'll create a circle between the top, bottom, left and right of my image, um, and then create a circle inside so that we're, it won't be collidable until it actually gets to the circle. And that is pretty much it for the attributes for within an actor, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.